Well, the real meaning for Memorial Day is to remember the soldiers, sailors, Marines and airmen who died to keep us free. A Pennsylvania man lost his son 13 years ago, and since then he's on a mission to help families going through that same experience. 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill picks up the story from here. Uh, he was there 10 days uh, when they got into a horrendous ambush and uh, he died from his injuries uh, in that fight. April 8th, 2004 is a day Burton Kephart will never forget. He lost his son, Jonathan, who was a military policeman in Iraq. It does become easier. The hurt never goes away. Kephart, who served in the Vietnam War, says losing a son in battle changed the meaning of Memorial Day. I participate in every event that I can possibly attend during the Memorial Day weekend. And often he is passing out this 48-page booklet, Proven in Battle. He wrote it 11 months after Jonathan's death. While during an event at the Arlington National Cemetery, he says he saw so many families struck with grief. So I had a piece that they did not know about, and I was burdened to try and be of a help to them. And from that desire, uh, we wrote that little booklet. Kephart goes all over passing the booklet out. He estimates he hands out 5,000 a year. Fire. He's went to Buell Park's Armed Forces Day the last three years. Kephart has traveled as far as California to share the story. The booklet tells the events in order from the phone call about Jonathan's death to the funeral. It also offers thoughts from Burton and his wife. Kephart says this story goes beyond just remembering Jonathan, but all the men and women who serve our country. And as the saying goes, um, all gave some and some gave all. In Franklin, Pennsylvania, Tyler Troll, 27 First News.